Wednesday morning and if you can't tell I've got a stinking headache. Ouch. Just some, seem to be clearing even though I've taken some tablets this morning. Uh, yesterday was a decent day takings wise but I had that big lot from Diane in the morning and then I had a couple came in and I got another lot of them in the afternoon. Some really nice things so hopefully I'll have a chance to show you some of them. First I just need to start feeling human first cup of tea of the day so maybe that'll help. Those beer glasses from Diane nicely filled up my um, shelves and I've got backup stock in boxes so um, some nice ones actually. There's some Grolsch and San Miguel. Some of these I had already but I particularly like the pickled partridge. So these boxes I need to find a home for. I haven't really got any space anywhere so I've got to make some space to put these boxes out the back. Looking outside, it's gonna be a quiet day. There's nobody around. So what I've done is I've moved that pile of glasses into the back, I've managed to find space. And I've put some boxes of books outside saying free help yourself, just to make try and clear some space because I've got loads of books in the back. Um, I just find them very difficult to sell. And um, so I'd rather find new homes for them than have to get rid of them. So um, yeah. Hopefully I'll get rid of some today and it might even draw attention to the shop. So I use that as a lost leader, as they say. Um, I forgot to show you one of the things that I got at the antique centre, um, the hob. I got this fella. <laughs> it's a giraffe. Ooh, it's a big, tall one. But look at his face. Isn't he cute? Um, I've not put him out on display really much because the builder who works next door likes giraffes so I want to give him the first refusal. Uh, excuse me squinting. Um, and then I went to the Exeter Quay Antique Centre um, as well on Sundays. Took some photos in there so I'll show you those. I only bought one thing but I'll show you what I got. Um, it's huge, the Antique Centre in Exeter on the quay, uh, Topsham on the quay. It's lovely um the first as you walk in the first floor there's lots of cabinets beautifully set out and lit up and everything and then there's two more floors just full of stuff <laughs> i have to admit it is a bit on the pricier side so uh that's why i only bought one thing <laughs> and, and by then i find it a little bit overwhelming um because there's so much in there but it's a great place if you like to look around antiques and vintage stuff.
So I'll show you what I got. This is it. The one thing that I bought. <laughs> so it's a copper and brass pillow shaped purse. Isn't that gorgeous? Um, I just spotted it in one of the cabinets. So it's velvet lined. Um, I love the combination of copper and brass together. You see that? Isn't that gorgeous? Now, obviously I paid up for this hoping that there's still a little bit of profit in it for me, but who knows? Um, but I just think it's absolutely stunning and I didn't want to leave it behind. So I've just started having a little look through the stuff that was brought in yesterday afternoon. I thought I might show you. I've got a big box full behind the counter there. Um, it's a real mixture. There's some glassware, um, some, you know, plates and things. Sorry, my brain's on a go slow today. Um, I've even got a vintage dress, <laughs> so it is a real mix. I've got this little pile here of silver plate. Um, most of it's been polished, the plate's been polished off, but these are nice shapes, aren't they? These are sort of art, I was going to say deco, but you think they're more Art Nouveau? Not sure, but there's a pair of those, but the plate's all been polished off. Um, and then there's, I can't remember where I was. <laughs> so there's a couple of other little bud vases, both silver plate. Um, my door's open, so somebody could come in at any point. There's a little dish on legs. It's quite sweet. Probably would have had a glass liner, I imagine. Maybe a spoon hanging from there. Um, can't see a maker's mark on that. Oh yeah, underneath. No, nope, can't see that without <laughs> magnifying glass. Um, this little tray with a hanging thing again, probably would have had a spoon or something on there. And this one, oh, stuck. Why can't I move it? There we go. <laughs> tray. Totally, all the silver has been um, polished off. And you can see like the brass coming through, but so detailed. Look at that. It'd look lovely with mince pies on it, wouldn't it? So that. Um, I got a couple of bracelets. Two like this. So they're hinged. They feel very light. Um, there is some marking that's worn off inside on both of them and they say something silver band but I can't work out what it is um, I've tried quickly to polish them with the silver cloth and it's not cleaning up much so I'm wondering if it's a low grade silver because it feels a bit like you know when you get low grade Indian type silver but um, I'm not sure I'm not sure about those um, this I absolutely love. Look at that. So it's pottery. She's got her mince pie on the tray. Look at her hair. Look at the detail in her hair. Um, I looked these up. There was a name inside. Let me find it again. Laura Dunn, England. And I've seen some of these on eBay and they don't go for lots of money. But I thought with it coming up to Christmas put that in a Christmas display in the window when it gets nearer. Isn't that lovely? Um, 
And then, hang on, let me make some space. I got this lovely cutlery wooden box. Inside, it's, sorry, they're not in properly. It's a fish eater set. So the serving ones. And then the knives and forks inside. Um, haven't worked out who it's made by yet. Ow, trap my hands. But just a lovely wooden box. So that is the start of that haul. It's about half past 12. It's very quiet. Um, so I've just run upstairs, got myself some lunch. Last night I made a soup. I don't know if you watched Mrs M's vlog. Where she made like a tomato soup, roasted the tomatoes and garlic and ginger and stuff. I thought I'll do that. I don't need to look at a recipe. Just make it up as I go along. So it's a made up recipe. I roasted some tomatoes, some garlic, some ginger. And then I, I don't cook with onion because of my stomach. So I un added some onion powder and some salt and pepper, whizzed it up. Didn't have any coconut milk, so I've just added a dollop of yogurt. It looks nice, but it's a bit runny. I think I could have done with a bit more consistency. It's got a nice gingery kick to it. Keep the customers away. Mm. I thought I'd show you just a couple more things um, that I got from that couple yesterday afternoon. Um, there was a mixture of um, glass cut glass vases and plates and stuff like that. So this kind of thing, pretty little plates, just odd ones. Um, I got this rather nice planter. It's Dartmouth pottery. It's not in perfect condition. It's got a little chip out of it just there that's been repaired, but still a nice big planter. Um, I got this unusual, like a salad servers, can you see? So they've got this to hold them together, Danish design, and then the salad servers like this, and then that just slides on to hold them together. I thought that was kind of funky. So a crumb brush. They brought me a crumb brush last time, but without a tray, but this time it's got the tray. Isn't that lovely? Nice copper one. Set like that. And then finally, not, not finally, but finally out that I'll show you, because the rest I'll just get on with, is this dress that I told you about. So it's a handmade one. It's not got a label, because it was made by the lady's mother. Can you see the pattern? And it's a long dress. She used to go dancing, so it's got an extra bit of material to make it swish at the back. Um, it feels like plastic. Let's just say there's not much cotton content in that. But it's all lined. Um, or is it? Is that lined or is that just the other side of the material? I'm not 100% sure, if I'm honest. No, maybe that isn't lining. Maybe that's just the other side of the material. Anyway, I love the pattern, not so keen on the texture. <laughs> I'm going to call it a day because my head's really hurting and I might have to lock up early if it carries on. Um, take care, stay safe. Thumbs ups are always appreciated, remember. <laughs> I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.